Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In my previous video, I would show you how to use free Cloudflare Zero Trust VPN tunnel to securely and easily access your home internal applications and networks. The whole process has been documented in this blog post. You will find the link in this video description. The diagram here shows you how you can access from internet through the public URL and uh, cross the internet, Cloudflare VPN tunnel, then get to your Cloudflare installed machine, then eventually access your home network and applications. As I mentioned before, there are multiple ways you can install this Cloudflare application. You can install on Windows, Macintosh, Debian, Red Hat, and Docker. So I do like Docker much more than using any other ways, since I already own Docker in my home environment. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Cloudflare application on your Docker environment, and then how you can use the same way as I showed in my last video to access your internal applications. Now, let's start. Since our this lab is based on Docker environment, we can install Cloudflare into our Docker server. So you need to have Docker installed. Actually, it's very simple as well. If you can go to my blog post, that will show you all steps how to install Docker. Just two command apt update apt install docker.io that will get your Docker environment ready. But you need to have a Linux server as I'm showing here. So I already have Linux server in my home running on IP 192.168.2.8. Behind that, I have other service running on my internet which I'm going to show you how you can access it from internet. Let's start with our Docker environment. Assuming you already have a Linux server installed and using Ubuntu 22.04 version, you can use other Debian version, CentOS version, or Red Hat. The process is the same. Go sudo mode, apt update. It shouldn't take too long. Once you did apt update, you may want to start install doc.io. For my environment, actually I already installed that. So that command, we just go to verify and then find out if you installed it. You also can do apt update doc.io. Select yes to auto start doc daemon. Since I already installed uh, Docker before, so it just let you upgrade it to latest version. We can check the version. That's pretty good. So that's all what we need. So our next step is going to install Cloudflare Docker. To spin up your Cloudflare Docker, you need to go to your Cloudflare web interface, go to access, go to tunnels. Then if you don't have your tunnel created, then you create your own tunnel. If you already have it, just click it and then select configure, choose Docker 
for your environment then you will get this command for you to copy and paste into your docker environment in probably less than one minute it will be spinned up So you can see it's already registered tunnel connection to your account. So we will go back to verify your tunnel. Now you can see your tunnel status is healthy comparing to before it was inactive and so now it's healthy. Basically our tunnel is up and running. Let's go to the next step to configure your home internal applications to be accessed from internet. From our console, we can see our Cloudflare Docker has registered itself into our web interface. Home tunnel is up and running, healthy status. Our next step is just create a connection between our CNN network and our internal application. So I do have internal application running, which is an open speed test web interface. Uh, I'm using port 3000 on IP 192.168.2.8. So to get this tunnel working, we're going to add a public host name here. So we're gonna use speed test domain. I'm gonna use uh, list domain 51sec.eu.org and we're gonna use HTTP and we're gonna copy this URL to layer. Remove HTTP from the URL since we already have it. Save the host name. That's how easy it is. After that, what you need to do is you can just click on it and directly open it. So now your internal application is running on this domain. And also you have HTTPS, not like previously internally running, you are running on HTTP. So that gives you another extra layer of security. So that's how easy you can expose your internal application to the internet. Since using Cloudflare tunnel is so easy to expose your internal application to internet, you may want to add certain security controls on it, which we're gonna add a MFA or password protection to your list application before people can access to it. We need to verify who you are. That's what zero trust concept means. Constantly verify who you are before they can give you access. So for this step, we can use the application. We can add the application because it's a self-hosted application. We can choose it. Then we for the application name, we can name anything you want. I will just put a speed test. Subdomain, it's the same we already gave it, speed test. So that's what you need. After that, you need to go to next step. define the rules and the policy. We're going to choose the policy rule based on authentication method. You can use password, short message, face, or loads to confirm your user. You can use emails and then 
based on emails, you can put the email address here, just like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my email address here. So I'm gonna get that verification email each time when I need to access my application. So that will confirm who I am before I can access the website. That should be enough. Go to next. You don't have to change anything here. Directly choose add application, then we are done. Now let's go to access this application again and see what's gonna happen. Before we can get access to our internal application, you need to type in the email address we defined in our policy rule. So I'm going to type that. Then I will get the code. As you can see, I right away I get the code zero minutes ago. Um, you can just paste code in. Sign in. If you sign in correctly, you will get your website, which is coming from your home network. You also can do the testing. So that's all I want to show you today, how easily you can use Docker to deploy this Cloudflare Zero Trust VPN tunnel. So you can easily and securely access your home internal applications. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Again, if you like this video, give me some up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me a great support for me to create more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one.